Hello, guys. Good evening. Olga, tell me, Christopher, tell me, Alexandra, in the Liceo. Welcome to the class. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Olga. How are you? Um, fine. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's great. It's happy to know that it's nice to know that you are uh, very good tonight. So welcome again to this class. Yesterday we were studying about the topic telling the time. We learned yesterday how to tell the time in English. So do you remember? Let's see, for example, I'm going to write here as an example. And can you please tell me what time is it? This is the question we can use. What time is it? We learned this question yesterday. What time is it? Otra opción era, ¿se recuerdan la otra opción? ¿Cuál es? Para preguntar la hora. What time is it? We can use it's, this. What is the time? What is the time? Y la forma más educada de hacerla era Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Esta es de una manera más educada. So we have three, three options to ask for the time. So could you tell me the time, please, in the following clock? So let's see what time is it here. What time is it? Could you tell it's me the time, please? Ten, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. A.M. A.M. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. A.M. Otra manera de decirlo es. The morning. Ah, okay. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Okay, that's great. So what time is it in this other? Let's see. What time is it? It's water to wait. Okay, excellent. So you say it's a quarter to eight. It's a quarter to eight. Otra manera de decirlo es it's seven forty-five. It's seven forty-five. Excellent. That's great. Let's go to the next. Thank you for your help in this part. What time is it here? What time is it? It's 11 o'clock p.m. It's, it's 11, 11 o'clock p.m. También podemos decir. It's 11 o'clock uh, in the uh, at night it's 11 o'clock at night excellent and what time is it here what time is it it's my 15 <laughs> okay thank you it's 9 15. It's a quarter after nine. It's a quarter after nine. Excellent. Thank you so much. So it's 9 15, it's a quarter after nine. Very good. Do you have any question about this? 
questions? No, no questions. No, no questions. questions. Ok, that's great. Let's start with the next class. So, este fue el tema de ayer. Aprendimos las diferentes maneras de decir la hora y también de preguntar. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que utilizamos? Which are they? What time is it? What time is it? What is the, the time? What is the time? And... Um, could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Thank you so much. Y siempre vamos a responder utilizando it al principio. Dice, it's 11 o'clock p.m. It's 11 o'clock at night. It's 7 o'clock a.m. So it's. Siempre va primero. Don't forget that. That's cool. Thank you so much. If you don't have any other question about the platform, do you have any question about the exercise there? ¿Todos terminaron los ejercicios en la plataforma y la evaluación final también? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Ok. Congratulations then. Thank you so much. Uh, today is the due date. Hoy era la fecha de entrega de esas tareas. ¿Sí? Entonces espero que sí las hayamos terminado. Y ya vieron su progreso que está al 100% o arriba del 80%. Y algunos de ustedes creo que ya les aparece también el diploma, ¿verdad? ¿Quién ya lo pudo ver? Yes, yo. Ok, Brenda ya pudo ver su diploma. ¿Quién más? Yes. ¿Solo Brenda? Sí, yo también ya lo pude ver. Ah, ok, Eliseo también. Yo también, teacher. Bueno, creo que tienen que descargarlo, ¿verdad? Sacarlo impreso y sacarlo impreso para que lo tengan ahí, ¿verdad? Le ponen un marco bonito y lo ponen en la pared. Tengo una pregunta, yo te Ok, el millón de what is your question? Sí, solo que veo que no, no tenía, no tiene sello el, el diploma, solo una firma. Solo tiene una firma. Va, sí. va, voy a preguntar cómo es el diseño de los diplomas, si, porque todavía los va a autorizar el INSAFOR, creería. Entonces, no sé si los van a subir de nuevo sellados o solo con esa firma es válido. Sí, porque yo, yo, perdón, yo he hecho algo otra vez otro curso y tiene un como correlativo código, no sé, algo como que indica ¿verdad? para consultar, me imagino, algo así. Bueno, bueno, recuerde que su progreso queda en la plataforma, queda guardado en la plataforma, igual que su usuario, ¿verdad? Ahí quedan sus resultados también. Ok, gracias. Ok, Jonathan, thank you for your comment. So, Christopher, what's your question? Eh, sí, teacher, eh, ¿dónde puedo encontrar mi diploma? Está en la plataforma. Así ah, es, en la plataforma lo puede ver. En la pestaña no. donde dice progreso, se va donde dice progreso, y arriba del gráfico, Acá arriba le aparece la opción. En esta parte donde es su inscripción en ruta de asistente, aquí le aparece ver diploma. Le aparece la opción. Y en su gráfico todas estas barritas tienen que estar arriba del 80%. Ok, teacher, gracias. Bye. Lo busca, si no, me escribe para poder ayudarme. Thank you so much. So, let's start with tonight class. Thank you for your question and your comment. So, let's go with the class of tonight. Just give me a second. Tonight, we're going to study WH word equations with the present continuous. So I'm going to share with you my screen. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
here is the topic for tonight, present continuous WH work question. Uh, do you remember which are the WH work? ¿Cuáles son estas preguntas WH work? Or information question, preguntas de información. ¿Se recuerdan cuáles son ellas? Si no, vamos a verlas en este momento. La W is word. Where? So, muy bien, esa es una. Where is one? Where? What? What? When? Why? When? Why is another? Where, what, who? when, why, who, who. And also we have how, where, what, when, why, how, which, which. So tonight we're going to study some we? of them. Which is in a squall. Se utiliza um, como opciones. Which one do you want? The yellow one or the red one? ¿Cuál quiere? ¿La amarilla o la verde? Entonces tiene dos opciones. En ese caso utilizamos which. Cuando le da opciones. ¿eh? So, let's start with this topic tonight. WH word question. That is the topic. So, here we go. With the objective, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH question. By the end of this class, you will be able to understand raising and falling information in yes no question and WH questions. So we are going to start in this point. So raising and falling intonation. What is raising? Raising is when the intonation eh, comienza, digamos, suave y termina fuerte. And falling intonation es lo contrario, comienza fuerte y al final termina suave. So let's show you in this example. Take a look at these sentences. The first ones are yes, no questions. Las que estudiamos el día lunes, the yes, no questions. So the intonation for this question is raising. Comenzamos suave y terminamos con una entonación más alta. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? So, la entonación de, esta, de este tipo de preguntas va hacia arriba. Comenzamos suave y más fuerte al final. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Caso contrario de las WH word questions. What, what she doing? What she doing? What are they doing? Comenzamos fuerte y terminamos con menor intensidad en la voz al final de la pregunta. So let's listen this. Let's listen these examples. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, do you want to try? Who wants to try reading this? Using the correct intonation for these questions. Any volunteer who wants to try them? Who wants to participate tonight? Thank you, Brenda Isabel. Can you please read the fourth question? Is she wearing, ay, wearing up? <laughs> Are they sleeping? Y la otra era, what she doing? ¿Cómo era ahí? <laughs> what she doing? What she doing? What she doing? doing? What she doing? What are they doing? Okay, that was great. Thank you so much for your help. Let's listen again. Pay attention to the intonation. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, any other volunteer to try in this part of the class? Who wants to participate reading these four questions? Thank you, Jonathan. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? 
excellent job, Jonathan. Thank you so much. So let's go away. Tell me, Arely. Tell me. It's very easy. Come ahead. Just get me up. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Is she getting up? I say. Yes. Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Okay, excellent. Thank you. And also I have uh, tell me Alexandra. She is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they no doing? Doing. What are they doing? Doing. What are they doing? Doing. Oh, is what okay. It. Yes. What are they doing? Thank you so much. Now, Julia Elizabeth, it's your turn. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help in this exercise. Now let's see what is the correct intonation in the following question. Is it raising or falling? Raising or falling intonation in this question. Uh, racing. It's racing, right? Can you please read it, Brenda? Brenda, can you please read this question? What? <laughs> can you please read the question? Uh, can you follow? Yes, please. Are you wearing a sweater? Sweater? No, sé cómo se pronuncia. Sweater. Are Sorry. you wearing a sweater? So are you wearing a sweater? Base arriba. Are you wearing a sweater? Okay. Are you wearing a sweater? And what about this one? Is it racing or falling? Racing What's intonation that? or falling intonation? Racing. This is the racing. Uh, it's falling intonation. Base abajo, right? So you say, what are you wearing? What are you what wearing? En la mayor fuerza va a caer, ¿verdad? What are you wearing? What are you what wearing? What are you wearing? And then it's falling intonation in this one. Thank you so much. And that is the raising and falling intonation. Don't forget, if there are just no questions, the intonation is raising. Base arriba. Is she getting up? And if they are information question or WH word question, the intonation is falling. So what's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? Do you have any question in this part? Questions? Okay. No. No question. Okay, that's great. So take a look of this. I'm really hungry. That is the name of this conversation. So we are going to listen and we are going to practice. Let's listen to this conversation, please. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now. Okay, what is he cooking? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? He's cooking pizza. Oh, he's cooking pizza. 
What time is it? It's two o'clock in the morning. Okay. Y why is she cooking? Oh, sorry. What is he cooking? What is he cooking? You say pizza. Why is he cooking? ¿Por qué está cocinando a esa hora? Why is he cooking at two o'clock in the morning? Why? Porque tiene hambre. Ah, okay. I'm really hungry. Because he is really hungry. Because he is really hungry. Thank you so much. So we have this question. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. ¿Se comió solito la pizza, Steve? ¿O le ayudó la mamá? Le ayudó la mamá quizás. Va, Se supone, pero no dice exactamente. Ah, Solo okay. dice ahora tengo hambre. Now I'm getting hungry. En la última frase donde dice, let's eat. Vamos a com comer. Comamos, vamos a comer. Muy bien. Olga, do you have a question? What is your question? Olga, hello. Olga, do you have no a question? No me funciona el micrófono, teacher. ¿Cómo hago? Mm, sí la podemos escuchar. Ahorita sí la escuché. Ah, pues ok. Hoy sí. No, no vi a yo que me preguntara. Ok. Ahora sí le está funcionando muy bien. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Who wants to participate? Sí, yes. Ok, Olga and Delmi. Olga, you are Steve and Delmi, you are Mon. Ok. Eh, Steve, Jimón. Con, se llama Hi, Hi Moon. What are you doing, Steve? Steve, I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Steve, well, am I really, really hungry? What are you making? Uh, still pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Thank you so much, Delmiareli and Olga. Yes, in this sentence. Can you help me please to pronounce this sentence? Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm. Okay, this phrase. Well, I'm really hungry. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm really hungry. Well, I'm, I'm really, really hungry. I'm really hungry. Okay, well, much better now. I'm really hungry. Thank you so much. Uh, any two volunteers? I have Delmi, Alexandra. Anyone? Uh, Delmi, Arely, do you want to participate again? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Delmi, Alexandra, and Delmi, Arely. Después Julia. Después Julia y otra persona, otro participant. Let's start. Then Arely, you are Steve, and Delmi, you are the man. Delmi, Alexandra. Okay, teacher. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why, why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? 
Making. Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I am hated, hungry, let's eat. Excellent. Thank you so much. Sure, I want to try. Okay. Thank you, Christopher and Julia. Thank you, Delmi Alexandra and Delmi Arely. Very good job. That was excellent. Just this word. Doing. What are you doing? And making. What are you making? Making. making. Now, let, now let's listen Christopher making. and Julia. Christopher, you are Steve. Julia, you are mom in this case. Okay, teacher. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Very good pronunciation, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much, Denny, Olga, Julia and Christopher. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Y let's see, ¿les ha sucedido eso? ¿Les ha dado hambre en la madrugada y se han levantado a cocinar? O a ver qué encontraban en el Twitch. Todos los días, teacher. Todos los días les sucede. Oh. Every bueno, day, teacher. Tienen que dejar por ahí un snack. ¿verdad? En la mesita de noche, dejen su vasito de leche y un snack. Para la madrugada. Un par de tortillas. <laughs> ok. That happened, right? Eso sucede. ¿verdad? A veces nos toca levantarnos en la madrugada. A ver qué hay. Now let's go with this. Present continuous WH question. So we are going to listen these places. The time there. So the first one, Los Angeles. What time is it? ¿Qué horas son en Los Angeles? Can you please tell me? Could you tell me what time is it, please? It's, it's four o'clock. A.M. Uh, what about Mexico City? What time is it? It's six o'clock. A.M. And what about New York City? What time is it in New York? It's 7 o'clock a.m. It's 7 o'clock a.m. Thank you. Now, what's Victoria doing? What's Victoria she's, doing? She's, she's sleeping, sleeping right now. now. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. He's getting up. What are Zoe and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast. So let's listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation of the question. So here we go. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Okay, now I'm going to choose two people. I'm going to choose two people to practice. And the first one is, let's see, Ana Guadalupe. Can you please? And Jocelyn? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Teacher, again, in the Sue y Tom, when they say they are having breakup, I dice ellos están tomando un desayuno. Yes, they are having breakfast. Pero having es el, el tener. Verbo, tener. El verbo tener. Mm -hmm. pero, pero ahí no, no están teniendo, no sería... Ellos están comiendo el desayuno. Ah, ok. En no, this... pero es el verbo. Es el okay. verbo. In this case, we have to think in English, right? En, este, en esta frase, ¿verdad? Tenemos de pensar en inglés. 
Porque es cierto, si lo traducimos al español, esa frase diría, ellos están teniendo el desayuno. Desayuno. But in English, it means like desayunando. They are having breakfast. Ellos están desayunando. Yes, así podríamos traducirlo, ¿verdad? Dándole contexto. They are having breakfast. Entonces, ellos están desayunando. Pero también podría ser they are eating breakfast. Podemos utilizar eat, el verbo eat también, de eating breakfast. Ah, ok. Teacher. Yes. No. Hello. Uh, ya, ya aclaré ya aclara mi duda. Disculpe, ah, disculpe. Ok, me. Christopher, no worry. Ok, Ana and Jocelyn, can you please? Ana, read the question and Jocelyn, the answer. Can you help me tonight, please? Hello, Ana, Jocelyn. Okay, then I'm going to pick up Josué, David, and Christopher. Can you please help me? Josué, David, and Christopher. Josué, can you please read the question? And Christopher, the answers. What's Victoria doing? Christopher, the answer, please. Hola, teacher, sería yo, ¿verdad? Yes, Christopher Vasquez, please. Okay. She's sleeping right now. Next. What's Marcos doing? It's six o'clock. So he's getting up. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you. Uh, two volunteers to practice in this part. I have Delia Reli and Delmi Alexandra. Thank you so much. So Delmi Reli, can you ask the question? And Delmi Alexandra, can you please read the answers? Okay, teacher. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What's Marcos doing? It's six o'clock a.m. So he's getting, getting up. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. 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 Okay. Ok, thank you so much, Christopher, Josué, and Delmi, Arely, and Delmi, Alexandra. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next part of this exercise. This is the first one. Los Angeles. Yes. Eh, otra consulta. Ok, Jorge, tell me. Ahí, y siempre en la misma oración, podría decir, they are taking breakfast. Podría utilizarlo también. They are eating. No, they. Taking. Ah, uh, taking breakfast. Mm, taking breakfast. Mm -mm, just having or eating. Ah, okay. They having Think. breakfast or they eating breakfast. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your question. Let's go with the second part of this. So, so let's listen. But Brasilia, what time is it there in Brasilia? It's 9 o'clock a.m. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Thank you. What about London? What time is it there? It's midnight mm, mi, moon. Mm. 
Midnight or noon? Midnight. It's noon. Is correct, teacher? Oh, it's noon. It's noon. It's, it's noon. It's, it's el mediodía. It's noon. Mm. In where in Moscow? What time is in Moscow? It's Moscow. It's, it's, it's three, three o'clock p.m. Three o'clock p.m. So let's read this information. Brasilia, nine a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, twelve noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Okay. Bangkok. So take a look at these sentences. What's wrong in the sentences? Can you identify the problem? What is it? Can you tell me? Repeat, please, teacher. Can I know, understand. There is something wrong in these sentences. What's the matter or what's wrong? ¿Cuál es el problema? Hay un problema con estas oraciones. Can you tell me what the problem is? ¿O están correctas? Are they correct? It's like doing to find it's a punctuation mark. Yo, yo solo noté, teacher, que preguntaban, pero también contestaban con una pregunta, como que en forma de pregunta. Pero no sé ah. si es eso. Teacher, usted dice que, que alguna de las oraciones le, le, le falta algo o que no está bien escrita. Ah, es una de puntuación, es un problema de puntuación. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? ¿Quién ya lo notó? Ay, madre de Jesús. Ok, I'm going to tell you. So let's take a look. This is an affirmative sentence in the answer. So we don't need the question mark. We need a period to complete these sentences. Cierto. So let's write the period here. So they are no questions, right? What? No son preguntas. So I'm going to change this to. No. These are answers. So we don't need here the question mark. Oh, she, eh, 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 yes. Eh, it's correct. Son preguntas todas, teacher. Okay, no, the first one is a question. Let's see, for example, what's Celia doing? She's going to work. So it is not a question. La pregunta, yes. The yeah. first one, what's Celia doing? Después, she's, she's, she's going she's to not. work. Es una oración afirmativa. Ella va a trabajar. Yeah. Then we don't need the question mark yeah. there. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try then? One volunteer to read the question and the other one to answer then. So I have Delmi Areli. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer who wants to participate? Any other volunteer to participate in this part? Thank you, Delmi Alexandra. So Delmi Areli, can you please read the question and Delmi Alexandra the answers? What's Celia doing? Sí. O tengo que decir la hora también, teacher. Just the question. Solo la pregunta. Ah, okay. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. What are James and Annie doing? It's now, so they are having lunch. What's Andre? I teacher Andre. Andre, what's Andre doing? 
What's Andre doing? He's working. He's working. Thank you so much. So it's noon in this one. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon. So they are having lunch. They are having lunch. Having lunch. Billia. Let's go with the last one. So Bangkok and Tokyo and your city. What time is it in Bangkok? What time is it there? It's seven o'clock p.m. Thank you. What about Tokyo? What time is it there? It's nine o'clock p.m. p.m. And what about your city? What time is it? What time is it in El Salvador? It's it's a after okay can you please raise your hand puede levantar su manita if you want to participate who who wants to answer the question it's eight um four four no twenty twenty after o twenty k ah okay ahorita vamos a responder esa pregunta Olga thank you veamos Delmi okay. Delmi Alexandra cuál es su opción Delmi Alexandra it 18 to 9. Ah, okay. That's yeah. great. So you say it's 18 to 9. It's mm -hmm. 18 to 9. Esa es una opción. ¿Cuál sería una opción más? Thank you, Delma Alexandra. Teacher, ¿por qué 18? El 8. Faltan 18 minutos para las 9. Ah. It's 18 to 9. Otra manera de decirlo sería It's 8.40 43 oh, Ya cambió. 43 now. It's 8.43 De estas dos maneras podemos decir la hora en este momento. De y ahí no podría ser ninguna respuesta de decir la hora con el after. O, mm, no, el after no lo podríamos ocupar porque lo ocupamos hasta la, cuando llega a la media hora, hasta los 30 minutos. Decimos after, de ahí en adelante utilizamos tú. Tú. Sí, sí, Gracias. Entonces, after ya no lo podríamos usar porque ya pasa de la media hora. Thank you so much. So, it's 18 to 9 or it's 8.43. Sí, para que parece con el de arriba, es it's 8.43. Let's listen then. Escuchemos estos ejemplos. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... Delight okay. So what's Permsak... What's Permsak doing? What's the answer? He's eating dinner right now. Teacher? He's eating dinner in the room. Excuse me, Olga, can you please repeat your question? ¿Qué quiere decir so I? So I'm. So I'm. Uh, okay. So en la última nos pregunta, your city? So what time is it here? ¿Qué horas son aquí? And what are you doing? Then you say it's 8.42 and I'm 
¿qué está haciendo? Yo estoy, y ahí completa con lo que está haciendo en este momento. It's 18.9, so I'm studying English. I'm sitting in front of my computer. I'm reading a book. I'm listening. I'm paying attention to the English class. Ahí completamos con lo que estamos haciendo Bangkok, en este momento. 7 p.m. What? So, let's continue with this picture. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cuando es este? Ahí decía 00, 00, 00 va. Es media, medianoche. Mm, o medio, es... ¿cómo es el día ahí? Estaba sin números porque íbamos a decir la hora de nuestra ciudad. Por eso estaban vacíos los números. Ay, teacher, perdón, es cierto. Gracias. Ok, don't worry about that. Pero a veces así escriben también las, las cero horas, ¿verdad? Que serían las 12 a.m. Serían midnight. Sería midnight también. Midnight, ok, teacher. It, it could be midnight. A veces lo ponen así, ¿verdad? Cero, cero. Las cero horas. Sí. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question, Delmi Alexandra. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at this family. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. Can you please tell me what are they doing? What are they doing? Cooking. Oh, yeah, we can they say they are, are cooking. They are having lunch. Okay. Hoy es el desayuno, teacher. Having breakfast. They are having breakfast. Okay, so we can say they are making. They are making what? They are making sandwiches. They are preparing cereal. So they are making sandwiches, we can say in this case. So let's say a look at the following picture. What is she doing in the first picture? She's they, uh, taking a pictures. Okay, so you can say she is or she is taking photos or pictures and where, where is she taking photos? Taking is tomando pictures. Tomando photos, yes. Now okay. the question is where, where is she taking photos? The question is where, where is she taking Photos. Where is she taking photos? Can you please answer this question? Okay, thank you so much. You say she is taking photos in the forest. Uh, other question. What is she wearing? What is she wearing today? What is she wearing today? She's wearing, she's wearing blue jeans. Okay, she's wearing blue jeans. She's wearing blue jeans. Wearing, she's wearing red. red or brown? Red. <laughs> okay, brown. red. Red or Okay, she is wearing a red sweater. Thank you so much. Let's see the other picture. The big picture. La, la imagen más grande. What is she doing? They are working. Okay, they are working. They, they are, are working. Knitting. Oh, 
they are in a meeting. They are having a meeting. Yes. Uh, but what is she doing? Solo ella. What is she doing? What is she? James Black. Black jeans. Okay, she is wearing black jeans. Thank you. But what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo She's ella? Dando como clases, playing a boxer. Okay. Una presentación. She's um, explaining. She's explaining. This is position. Okay, presentation. She is having a presentation. Posing. She is having a presentation. presentation. She's, she's teaching. We can use teaching. She's teaching. Ella está enseñando. Or oh, she's explaining. Ella está explicando. And what about this girl? What is she doing? Está escribiendo, teacher. I will say the sentence in English. Yes, you are right. But what is the sentence in English? How do you say ella está escribiendo in English? She is writing. writing. Okay, writing. excellent. She is writing. In she what about writing. this girl here? She's eating. Eating? Es que no veo teacher. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Um, She's speaking, right? Entonces está como speaking. platicando. She's speaking. Or asking a question. Está haciendo una pregunta. And what about this girl? She's, She's eating. Playing. 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 Okay, actually, ah. they are having dinner. ¿Qué otra oración podemos utilizar? They are having dinner. ¿Qué dinner, teacher? Cena. Cena. Yo pensé que era dinero. No, dinero es money. Sí. They are eating together. Okay, they are eating pizza together. Están comiendo pizza juntas. Where are they eating? Where are they eating? Now it's the going. restaurant. Okay, they are eating in a restaurant. In a restaurant. Oficina también, teacher, ¿cómo escribir? Mm, they are eating no. at the office. Están comiendo en una oficina. Bueno, si estuvieran en la oficina, sí sería. They are eating no, no restaurant. in the office. In this case, they are eating in a restaurant. Any question in this part? ¿Cómo sería para preguntar? ¿Puede escribirlo? Where are, Where are they eating? Where are they eating? ¿Dónde están comiendo okay. ellas? Where are they eating? So you say, where are they working? ¿Dónde están trabajando ellas? En la otra imagen. And where is she taking pictures? Where is she taking photos? Those are the question. Donde? Donde? Any other question? Okay, let's go to the next. Let's solve the next. Let's take a look at the next picture. So, what is she doing? She is. ¿Cómo se dice tocar, teacher? Tocando. Play. Es el verbo play. Play. Ah, sí. 
Ah, playing. she's playing guitar. guitar. Or solo she's, play. She's playing the guitar. She's playing the guitar. She's playing the guitar. ¿Qué más, qué más? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se llama esto cuando uno va a comer al parque o hacia el campo? Picnic. Cheese. Picnic. Summer. She's having a... She's having a picnic. She's Summer. having a picnic. And where is she playing the guitar? ¿En qué lugar está? Park. In the forest. Or park. In, in the, the forest park. or in the park. At the park. Thank you. And what is she doing? ¿Cuál es el verbo enseñar? How do you say enseñar in English? What is the bird? Teach. 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 Okay, she is. She is teaching. She is teaching. Okay, now let's see. We are going to make sentences. Look at the picture and tell me what are they doing? Number one, for example, what is he doing? ¿Cuál sería la oración? Okay. He's play, playing tennis. Thank He's you so much. playing tennis. He's playing tennis. The next. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. He's playing riding a bike. Este. Okay. Esa imagen me deja con dudas. Si es he o he. Bike. Bike. Yo digo que es he, teacher. Es he. He, he is teacher. riding a bike. Yeah, what about this girl? She is running. She is running. running. And this one? No. He and the we and the park. Okay, she is running he at the park. Swimming. He is swimming. He is swimming. She is taking a roll. They are dancing. They are dancing. She's, She's driving. driving. She's, She's driving. Driving. It is go to the Danger go to movie. Okay, they are going to the movies. She's shopping. She's shopping. shopping. She is reading. Ready. Reading. She is reading. She's reading. She is studying. She is studying. Ah, no, es una ella un él. Uh, she. She, is she. she is studying. She is studying. She is watching television. She is watching TV. Watching. Yeah, yeah. Watching. Para que se puede decir TV, teacher. Yes, TV o television. TV es la abreviación de television. Television. Okay. So let's listen the sentences. Vamos a escuchar las oraciones. Um, He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's riding. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Okay, those were the right answers in this part. Do you want to listen again? So listen and practice. Listen and practice the sentence. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. Tennis. He's swimming. 
She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Okay. And we have already finished this topic about present continuous. So do you have any question about this? Remember that the present continuous is a tense that we use uh, when we want to, to say, right? What is happening right now? Utilizamos este tiempo para decir qué está sucediendo en este momento. What is happening in this moment? Todas las acciones que están sucediendo en el momento en que estamos hablando. Para eso utilizamos este tiempo. Y para hacer una oración afirmativa, necesitamos, ¿se acuerdan? ¿Qué necesitamos para una oración afirmativa en presente continuo? De, we need a subject first. Necesitamos un sujeto. Plus the verb be, la forma correcta del verbo to be. Más el verbo ah, principal, verbo. más un verbo And que tenga no, -A -A -I -A -G, -G, -I ing más un complemento. That is what we need. So you say, for example, Demi is writing a letter. Demi is the subject, the verb to be is is, the verb in ing form is writing, and a letter is the complement. Now, if I want to make a negative sentence, I need subject. ¿Qué más necesito? ¿Se recuerdan para hacer una oración negativa? Not. Y antes eso de verbo no, verbo no, be. Uh, not. Not. Verbo normal. Un verbo que termine en ING. Okay. Más un. Más un complemento. And we write the following sentences. We can say Christopher is not watching TV. In this moment. In este momento, Christopher is not watching TV. The subject is Christopher. The verb is this, not. Watching is the verb and the complement TV. So Christopher is not watching TV. And for a yes no question, we need to follow the following structure. And we need the verb be, the verb be at the beginning of the sentence. El verbo to be al inicio de la oración, plus subject, más un sujeto, más a verb, un verbo que termina en forma ing, or ing, más un complemento. ¿Y qué más necesitamos? Para hacer una yes no question. El signo de pregunta. The question mark, <risa> el signo de pregunta. Es importante, ¿verdad? Que vaya ahí. Entonces, acá, veamos. <coughs> And we say, is Arely listening to music? It's a question. Is Arely listening to pop, pop music? ¿Qué nos hace falta en esta oración? The question mark. So it's Arely listening to pop music. So the verb be the subject, the verb in ing form, and the complement. Y las que aprendimos ahora, la estructura para las WH word question, vamos a poner siempre primero la WH word, plus verb be. Plus subject, 
Plus the verb in ing form. Plus the complement. And finally, the question mark. Esta es la estructura que necesitamos eh, siempre, ¿verdad? Que necesitemos una pregunta de información en este tiempo. Ah, sí. Un ejemplo sería, ¿cuál? Why are you crying, for example? Why are you crying? Porque estás llorando. So the W is work, the verb be, the subject, and the verb with ing and the question mark. En este caso no tenemos complemento. What are you crying? Porque estás llorando. Do you have any question about this topic? Questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del present continuous? ¿Preguntas? ¿No hay preguntas? ¿No questions? No questions. Ok. Ok, don't forget that the exercises and the evaluations are for today. No se les olvide que las preguntas, los ejercicios en la plataforma y las evaluaciones son para el día de hoy. Today. Eh, Pueden hacerlo hasta mañana en caso de que no lo hayan hecho todavía. Sí, so, Cher. ¿Yes? Sí, desde que estaba viendo lo del, el del diploma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y sí, desde que cuando le daba para imprimir me sale dos páginas. Porque es como que una línea se pasara al siguiente, a la siguiente página, como que no estuviera cabal en una sola. No sé si me entiende. Sí. Sí, al ¿Cómo momento, poderlo arreglar? Al momento de imprimir, creo que hay que darle reducir los márgenes. No sé si tiene la opción. No, no sé. Al momento de darle imprimir, tiene que darle reducir los márgenes, creo, para que le salga en una sola página. Ok, teacher, está bien. Thank you, okay. Okay, thank you so much for your help during this class. Thank you for your participation and for your attention, guys. Eh, espero verlos el día de mañana en nuestra última sesión virtual. ¿no? Tomorrow you are going to finish the basic English one. Tomorrow, okay, beginner one. Mañana termina el módulo número uno, ¿verdad? Beginner one. So congratulations for the ones who have already completed all the exercises. Felicitaciones a todos los que ya completaron su plataforma y a los demás los felicito mañana porque estoy seguro que lo van a completar entre hoy y mañana, ¿verdad? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Christopher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Good night, teacher.